This is Head Harvester Bill Arman from the West Coast. And Head Harvester Ed LaFlam from the East Coast. Now our topic these last two months have been HR 911, right. the Big Ten. Today's topic we're going to talk about OSHA. Oh no, <laughs> OSHA. So we're going to give you five or six tips to help you deal with OSHA in case they come in and have, you, have a little visit with you. Right. And that's okay. You know, it's a good thing if you're prepared. So let's talk about a couple things. I want you to conduct an, an OSHA audit once a year. Okay, so have an internal audit of yourselves, and we're going to send you a toolkit. If you if you call us up or drop an email, we'll send you a, God, it's big, let me tell you. It's like 15 page long checklist for the OSHA audit. And if you, if you send an email to us, we'll be happy to send you that tool. Next, schedule weekly safety tailgate talks and document them. So have it in writing, have the people sign that attend it, have it in English and in Spanish, have it weekly. I'm talking about anywhere from about five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, absolutely max, once a week. Yep. Okay. The other thing that OSHA is going to be looking for, and they're really hot on this, and we've seen this, we've had three audits in this last year, and they're looking for your PPEs, your personal protection equipment. So that's your earplugs, your eye protectors, your gloves, your cones, your coning off areas, ladder protection, any of those kind of things. Uh, helmets when you're using steak pounders. Look for your PPEs and make sure they're in there, okay? You have them supplied, well supplied. Great tips, great tips. Uh, remember, it starts from the top down. You need to create a safety culture within your organization. So if you're the owner, the manager, it's up to you to create that. You can't, you can't do it the other way from the bottom up. You have to have that in you, not, not a, a, a fake front, you know? So do really create that, live that, live safety in your company. It's going to only save you money, and it's going to prevent all the accidents from possibly happening, right, uh, Harvester Bill? You bet. Uh, you're going to do audits, too. You want to have your vehicle audits at least once a week. Now, some places may require more than that, but just follow and be compliant with your state and your federal laws on your vehicle requirements. Also, you want to have require, uh, the uh, a monthly yard audit. Not too many companies do that. Do the monthly audit. With, you know, with a formal checklist where somebody's responsible to go in that yard, go through it, and make sure it's in order. And then, of course, and so important, is at least a quarterly audit of your accounts, your customer's property. That's what, we're all, what it's all about, making sure those properties are A1. And the only way you can do it is get out there, you know, and put, the, uh, put those boots to, the, to those lawns and with a checklist and make sure they're really up to par. Uh, lastly, we want to make sure that uh, if, if you have more than, one, I believe, ten, uh, 10 employees, it's required that you fill out the OSHA 300 report. And that has to be done uh, by uh, February 1st of the, of the year, okay, for the prior year. And that has to stay up for February, March, and April, okay? That's the OSHA 300 report. It's required by law. If H OSHA comes in and that report is not on that wall and it's supposed to be, you're in for a stiff fine, believe me. I, I know companies that have receive such a fine. It's not funny. So, and it's simple to do. That's it for uh, the tips we have for today. This is Head Harvester Bill Arman. Head Harvester Ed Laflamme. Now go out there and harvest your safety, OSHA. We don't want to have OSHA say oh no to us, right? Now go out there and harvest your potential.